In this video, we're going to finish our CUDA software Infinite Algebra 1 free worksheet, Properties of Exponents, Hard. Picking up with number 17, I'm going to start by moving this term, k to the negative 3, up into the numerator. So I'll have 2 times k to the third times k squared times k to the positive 3. Now I'll be able to simplify my term with the base of k. So I'll have 2 times k to the 3 plus 2 plus 3. So that will be 2 to the k times 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 3 is 8. So 2 times k to the 8th. 2k to the 8th. That's my solution in number 17. In number 18, I'll start by doing two separate steps. I'll move this term, x to the negative 3, into the numerator with a positive exponent, and I'll distribute this 4 to x to the negative 3 that's already in my numerator. So I'll have x to the 3rd times x to the negative 3 times 4 times x to the 4th. And that's all over 2. So simplifying further, I'll have x to the 3rd times x to the negative 3 times 4 is x to the negative 12th times x to the 4th, and that's all over 2. So that's x to the 3 plus negative 12 plus positive 4. Combining my exponents with the base of x, and that's all over 2. So 3 plus negative 12 plus 4 is 7 plus negative 12, or you can think of it as negative 9 plus 4, which is a negative 5. So x to the negative 5th all over 2. And as part of my directions, I cannot have a negative exponent. So I'm going to move that term into the denominator. So I'll have 1 all over 2x to the 5th as my solution in number 18. Moving on to number 19, I'll move my quantity 2x into the denominator with a positive exponent. So I'll have 1 all over 2x to the positive 4 times x to the negative 1 times x to the positive 1, since x is the same as x to the 1. Now I'm going to distribute that exponent of 4 to both the 2 and the x. So I'll have 1 all over 2 to the 4th times x to the 4th, and I'll combine x to the negative 1 and x to the 1 as x to the negative 1 plus 1. So I'll have 1 all over 2 to the 4th, which is 16, times x to the 4th times x to the 0. And I know that x to the 0 is 1. So my final solution will be 1 divided by 16x to the 4th. In number 20, I'll start by distributing this 3 to the 2, to the x, and to z. And at the same time, I'll combine x to the 3rd and x to the negative 4, and z squared and z to the 3rd in the denominator. So in my numerator, I'll have 2 to the 3rd times x to the 3 times 3 times z to the 2 times 3. That's all over x to the 3 plus negative 4 times y to the 4th times z to the 2 plus 3, adding those exponents. So that's going to be equal to 2 to the 3rd, which is 8, times x to the 3 times 3, which is x to the 9th, and that will be multiplied by z to the 6th, since 2 times 3 is 6, divided by x to the 3 plus negative 4, as x to the negative 1 times y to the 4th times z to the 2 plus 3 or z to the 5th. Now I'll have 8 times x to the 9 minus the negative 1. Since that x to the negative 1 is divided, I'll be subtracting that exponent and I'll multiply that by z to the 6 minus 5. Since again that exponent is divided, so I'm going to be subtracting it and that's all over y to the fourth. So my final solution, I'll have eight times x to the 10th, since nine minus negative one is nine plus one, which is 10, and I'll multiply that by z to the six minus five, which is z to the first, or simply z, and that's divided by y 
to the fourth. So my solution for number 20 is 8x to the tenth z divided by y to the fourth. For number 21, I'll start by distributing that negative 4. So I'll have 2 to the negative fourth times p to the negative fourth times n to the negative 1 times negative 4. And then q to the 0 is simply 1, so I don't need to distribute the negative 4 to that. And that will all be multiplied by, I'll cancel out this 2 with the 2 in the denominator, so I'll just have m to the negative 1 times p cubed all over p q squared. So simplifying this, my 2 to the negative 4, I'll put that in the denominator, so I'll have 2 to the positive 4, and then I'll have p to the negative 4 plus 3, and then I'm going to subtract 1 since p to the 1 is in the denominator. So I've taken care of 2 to the negative 4, I've taken care of p to the negative 4, p to the 3rd, I was adding those, and then I'm subtracting p to the 1. Now q squared will stay in the denominator, so I'll take care of that term, but now I need to take care of my m terms. I'll have m to the negative 1 times negative 4, which is m to the 4th, but I'm going to add that to negative 1, since m to the negative 1 times negative 4 is m to the positive 4, and that will be added to negative 1, since m to the 4 will be multiplied by m to the negative 1. So continuing with my simplification, p to the negative 4 plus 3 is the negative 1, but then I'm subtracting 1, so I'll have p to the negative 2 times m to the 4 plus negative 1, which is m to the positive 3, all over 2 to the 4th, which is 16 times q squared. Now I'm almost done, I have one more step, and that will be changing my negative exponent to a positive by moving that term into the denominator. So I'll have m cubed in the numerator all over 16p squared times q squared. m cubed divided by 16p squared q squared is my solution in number 21. Now on to the last problem on this worksheet, number 22. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that like button, and while you're at it, subscribe to my channel. Now let's go over 22. Right away, I can simplify 22 and make it a lot easier on myself. This entire quantity is all raised to an exponent of 0, so it's equal to 1. So I'll have 1 all over 2 h to the negative 3 j to the negative 4 times k to the negative 2. So now I'm just going to move my terms where the exponents are negative. So h to the negative 3, j to the negative 4, and k to the negative 2. They will all be in the numerator with positive exponents. So I'll have h cubed times j to the 4th times k squared all over 2. h cubed times j to the 4th times k squared divided by 2 is my final solution on the properties of exponents hard worksheet. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them below, and if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and share.